You're good. Absolutely. On the chunk. Awesome. Woo! He's hooked up. Got him. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Can't do it. Ah. All right, somebody take this time. What is up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. It's 11.15 right now. I'm in the guest bedroom here on the Reaper. About to take a, uh, a quick little nap. Just drove down from Long Branch after kind of having a one day vacation up there. Went on the party boat. Didn't do too well. Not going to say the name of the boat, but fishing pretty much sucked. We were in the Raritan Bay. Half day of fishing. I caught three shorts in four hours. The whole boat had two keepers. And yeah, it was just a super, super slow day. But I was out there with my uncle and my cousins and his friend and his son, so. But it's always a great time out there in the water just having that experience, just making memories pretty much. But hopefully we're catching fish right now. So I drove down from Long Branch around 9.30. Um, a few pit stops later, I got here, it's 11.15, and I'm ready to go to sleep, so. I will hopefully catch you guys around 3.30. That's when Chris said to me at the boat. I texted him. He said, yeah, sure, buddy. Crash the uh, crash the boat. Whatever. That's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll see Chris and the rest of the crew at 3.30 to rig up everything. Get ready to send it out there. Going to head to the mid-shore grounds. Been a hot, hot tuna bite so far. Um, I was actually out two weeks ago with Chris. I personally didn't reel any fishing, so I'm not going to upload that video. But hopefully this trip will do a little bit. We'll do a little bit better. Hopefully catch some fish, guys. Stay tuned. Should be a sweet video. See you guys at 3.30. I'm gonna go try to get some sleep. <sighs> Good night. 3.28 a.m. underway now guys it's around 345 I'm gonna head back to sleep just loaded the boat up with all the essentials we're gonna need we got tons of flats of butters ice for all the fish we're gonna catch and uh yeah time to go back to sleep see you guys about 5 5 30 ish peace out See you on the bottom? Yep. And just big swings, real in the slack. God, I hope it works up on a demonstration. Oh, that'd be sick. No, 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 we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit. There we go. Yeah, you there. There we go. Up, guys. Oh. Live spot 80 feet down. Now he's hooked up. One for two right now. Get him in. Hooked up, baby. No, Let's I haven't go. Even seen him yet. Yeah, he, he went on a nice run. Yeah, it's a start. Yeah, I mean, you hooked him deep. Okay, 80 feet deep, and then he ran fucking about 100 feet. Yeah. Here we are, second bite guys. GoPro malfunction, so I couldn't get the bite on camera, but here we are. How did you know when we There he uh, is, deep color! Uh, deep color, deep that's color. a good fucking fish. There he is, coming up. Alright. Alright, did it. 
Jesus, man, what the hell are you doing? That's the first one. Got him, buddy. Dude, fucking bro. You. Yeah. Are you real? Is it coming in? You're good. Coming in now. He's turning right towards me. Yeah. All right, hooked up, guys. With a free flowing butterfish out there, GoPro's dead. And this guy ate it within a minute of it being in the water. Super sick. Wish I would have got that on video for you, but this is the best. This guy is 100 yards out there. Freaking Tyree killed over here, so. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not in, in with him. Just pumping this guy in. Hopefully, kill him pretty soon. Oh, he's on the he's on the surface. He's, is he on that buoy? No, he's on the surface. He might oh, be on yeah, that buoy. Yeah. But he was straight on his way to Hudson. Jesus. Alright, I mean, are we on anymore? Are we good? I got him. Come on, man. Get him. He's dead. He's dead. He's freaking dead. He's dead. Alright, ready? I killed him. One, two, three. Oh. Woo! Nice job, boy. Get him, man. Look at that gun. Oh, Dude, he's my dead, God. bud. He's, he's absolutely he's really dead. dead. Good job. That's, yo, that's why he couldn't stop. Come when they run like that, that's that's what it means. Woo! -hoo -hoo! First one. Yeah. First half of the season. Yo, bud. Yes. That's and you hand fed him. First. Hand, first ever hand fed, first in the chunk. Look, dude, I first stuck away to die. Second of the down. day. Hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah. There's your YouTuber. There's Dylan. Oh, yeah. There's Dylan L. Fishing. Look how big that fish is. That is a stud. Oh, my God, that's big. They're big. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. Don't drop him in the water. Baby out. Good job, Dylan. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yes, Cute. dude. Absolutely. On the chunk. Awesome. <laughs> He's a monster, guys. He's a monster. First elephant of the season. First ever on a chunk. Hand feathers, baby. Butterfish. Yes. Go. Good job, dude. <sighs> and then there's a membrane. All right, guys. Pretty hot out. Just it's stuck that big right yellow. Here. I'm exhausted. I'm absolutely covered in gunk. So, we're going in. Woo! And then that gives you access to the gunk. And then what I do is, when you do this, it frees up the end. You want to door mat? Yeah. All right, guys, there we go. Fresh out of the Atlantic. Two to it in the box. Right down there. Beautiful. Woo! Let's kill some more. All right, guys, just killed my first tune of the day, the second one for the boat. Time for a vitamin water. GoPro's recharged, running low on batteries today. Chris having some generator problems, so unfortunately I can't run my batteries as long as I want to. So I'm gonna get back out there on the deck. Bite is great so far. I'm just so stoked. I was able to hand feed the elephant tuna. That's something I've wanted to cross on my bucket list for forever. So just feeling good right now, riding high. All right guys, a little lunchtime break right here. Got some uh, Portuguese rotisserie chicken from Long Branch. Gorgeous day out here. Seas definitely laid down a little bit. Hot outside, so no need to reheat my food. Got some buttered up rice right here. Two fish in the box. Kind of waiting for the uh, the third to bite right now. Enjoy my lunch. All time. Steve's hooked up on the jig. Hell yeah. All right, Mark's one at 120, guys. He's hooked up. Yeah, this rod's really nice, isn't it? If you can, we'll start to bring on the other side, too. Alright, guys, mid-lunch. Steve is hooked up. Steve, you need this uh, cushion. So thing. sick. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna try and let it go. Okay. I appreciate it, though. There's color, guys. Check that out. So sick. Matt's up there in the bridge, said, got a streaker at 120. Two minutes later, got him. Get him in. Oh, yeah. Woo! First tuna. Yes. yes. Congrats. Yes. I love it. First ever. Yes. Stoke is real. Beautiful yellow. Hold on, Steve. Oh, we got a couple beats, too. Love we got a couple fibrillations. Love them. A little bite. Oh. <laughs> yes. No yes. reaction. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Mike over seconds. <laughs> oh, he's a, a natural. Dinosaur. We got ourselves a natural. 
beautiful. That's right, still beating hard of a dead tuna. There you go, baby. Good job. Chunk them. Come on. You. Yeah. Good job, dude. Yup. All right, guys, five minutes after we just killed Steve's tuna, Chris dropped this sardine all the way down the bottom where we hooked that other one. I'm sitting here, Rod bends down, starts blistering. So we're hooked up again within five minutes. Crazy. This one's on 64 of though, so we should be able to get it in a little quicker than the last one. But, whew, crazy. We're sick out here. They make tuna fish that look really hard. I thought it was pretty easy. My GoPro hasn't been on. Yeah, so. I, did. I don't have any. Well, guys, much as I hate to say it, I had to hand the rod off. That's no small tuna back there. Going 50 50 with Matt over here. He's making good progress, so. It's like 91 degrees out there. I'm literally dead. That fish absolutely smoked the sardine on the bottom. Like I said, right after Steve landed his fish, Chris decided to drop a sardine right down all the way on the bottom. There you go. Now you remember. And that guy choked it. So now you remember in the circle. Fighting this fish now. I gave it all I got. I thought I was gonna get pulled in. So hopefully land this fish. Definitely an XXL. I'm alright. If you need something, I'll be good for a uh, pizza. corner okay. he's just moving He's going, starboard forward. Well oh guys, Matt got tired out again. Brutal. Steve's back on. I just fought the fish for maybe two minutes, thought I could get it in. Uh, this I was, fish I was going stuck. for like eight to 10, done. Back to Dylan, two, three minutes, done. Now we're on, technically it's angle to three, but it's person four. Yeah. We're burning out Steve here, and all we got left is Chris up there. All right. Steve is moving them. We got color. Color, again, for the eighth time. Definitely the meanest one of the day. Definitely gonna be a big fish. I'll be on the secondary gap, but we need to get this baby to the water first. He's stuck around the 40 foot stern of line right now. So, a lot of chaos out here. Yep, 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 yep. That's good. 
Teamwork. Matt, part two. Here we go. There we go. All right, he's coming up. Pass that thermocline. Here we go. on the rod. Chris is up. Matt P2, exhausted. <laughs> Better than any home workout you can ever do. Ah. Ah. Alright, somebody take this. I can't do it. You want to take it? Hold on. Fish the feet of Chris. Oh that's, my god. That's the, the meanest jump I've ever seen. Oh my god. Steve P2. Holy shit. Man, I fought like, it twice. Matt fought oh it twice. My, usually you get them right there, they're dead. Steve's fighting it twice. Oh my Chris god. Fought it once. Pretty much nine anglers on this one freaking yellow. <laughs> I could tell when you're like growing started getting closer in frequency. That it was about to be time. And Matt's back up. Meanest yellow fin ever hooked over here. Chris, a 30 year veteran. Wow, it's the meanest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Never seen one do this. I said, I'm about to hook him in the dorsal fin. Where's my kid? Brought out the belt for this one. <sighs> Needed it. Meanest yellow fin Chris has ever seen. Ever. Ever. Oh, Jumbo. Oh my god. Jumbo. Goodness. New Jersey yellow fin. Look at the size of that thing. Water bowl. Look at that belly. Oh. Woo! That thing's so round. He's big. You're video on now, Dylan. Oh my god, you're a beast, dude. Let's go. You're baby. on video, dude. 100 pound Jersey yellow, at least. I am covered in blood. What a freaking insane fight. I'm kind of soaked. I'm going to go for a swim. Probably jump off the bridge. These guys want to fight another fish. I'm going to take a little nap. All right, guys. Going bridge jumping. Worked up a sweat on that fish. and covered in gunk, so let's get out there. Guys, we're just ready to call it a day over here. Chris has 15 more minutes left, and we we'll just doubled up. Steve landed a, uh, a nice false out before we just threw in the cooler for shark bait. Chris is still hooked up over here. Yellow fin number five. I thought we were back to see the lost gap right there, guys. 
What a freaking day, guys. Back at the dock now. Chris is flying fish up front. Just got done cleaning the boat, washing off the rods. Pretty much all, everything else we need to get done is done. Just waiting for the fish to get filleted. I'm lounging here in the chair. Beautiful, relaxing evening. Got back early. It's around 8 o'clock now. I had to actually tow some guys in. Shout out Nick from Ernest. I uh, had to tow him and his buddy in out shark fishing right off the brig. So that was fun. That kind of slowed us down a little bit. So, But chilling back now. Like I said, Chris is flaying fish up front. Steve's helping bag. Matt ran to the bathroom. I'm just kind of lounging here. Everything else is done. So editing the video that I've been working on for two weeks. LBI Bluefish video. Hopefully you guys have seen this already. Um, should be about the time this gets up. Mid freaking 2023. Whenever I get done editing this. But uh, yeah, today was all time for real. We uh, ended up going five for five on big yellowfin. Or yeah, five for five on yellowfin. Four of them were at least 65, 70 pound class fish. One of them was a hundred pounder the one that took all of us to reel in and uh steve popped his tuna cherry and jigged a 30 pounder on his first ever fish that was a surreal experience i'm back there eating my rotisserie chicken lunch so matt's up front of the cockpit marks a streaker about 120 feet down right on the bottom so i'm like steve i'm too tired man you drop down the jig boom three pops in he's hooked up legendary absolutely legendary moment and uh, yeah, we'll be eating good guys. Definitely gonna get some sushi the next few days. Definitely gonna get some seared tuna. And uh, yeah, I'm obviously just drained as you can see my, my eyes over here. But uh, yeah, I'm just super stoked obviously. Stoke is real. Shout out Chris, shout out Reaper for um, taking me out here obviously. My first ever successful day chunking really, or second ever successful day chunking. My first ever fish was on the chunk today. First 100 pound yellowfin today. Um, first time over hand fed yellowfin. It was just crazy, crazy day. A lot of firsts. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys did enjoy the video, please like the video, subscribe. Really appreciate that. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Stay stoked. Peace out.